Hey, this is Matthias Renke with Guitar Control, and today you're going to be learning this really cool song by Justin Timberlake called Can't Stop This Feeling. Uh, this song is originally from the movie um, Trolls, and uh, we're going to be playing it in a lower key so you can then adapt it. So for you to adapt it, you're going to have to place the capo on here, okay? But right now we're going to be playing it without the capo. And of course you can transpose this to different keys and you can totally play this. This is totally made for acoustic guitar. I'm playing it with electric, but it's made for the acoustic as well. So you can totally follow along with your acoustic guitar. Um, yeah, as usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. And there's a link in the description. Make sure you click on the, on the link so you can get the tab and you can download it and follow along with this video, okay? Let's get down to it. So uh, we're going to start off by playing an A major. Now, you can play the simplest A major if you want. That totally works as well. I am playing a different one that is actually not as hard because you would see this position, you're like, whoa, 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 wait there. You're like playing that complicated A major that I cannot play yet, but no. I'm actually just playing it on the fifth fret of the of sixth string, seventh fret of the fifth, and seventh fret of the fourth, and then with the middle on the sixth fret of the third. And then I'm leaving the other strings open, okay? But you can totally play this A major. But anyway, so that's your first chord, okay? And then right after that, you're gonna go into the F sharp minor. So for this F sharp minor, I like to make it super simple. And instead of playing this complicated, I like to, um, play something that has more open sound, more of an open sound. So what I do, I play the 6 on the 2nd fret, they're all on the 2nd fret, okay? But it's the 6 on the 2nd fret, 4th on the 2nd fret, and 3rd on the 2nd fret. And then we have the 2nd string and the 1st string open. And try to avoid playing the 5th, because it doesn't sound that great in that case. Okay? You can play with these fingers, or you can play with this ones. Whatever is more comfortable to you in the situation. But anyways, those are the two first chords, and then right after that, you're going to go into a D major. If you don't know it, you're going to have your index finger on the second fret of the third, in middle finger on the second fret of the first, and ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And then go back to the F sharp minor. So there you have your verse already, right? And in chorus. Pretty cool. Now for the rhythms, you can go something like, something like imagine like ta 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 ta. So it goes like. So I like to go down, 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 and then go up, 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 down, down. Okay, so. Up, up, down, down, up, down, and then you keep going down. Up, up, down, 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 down. So it's better if you know it as kind of like a melodic rhythm. Ta, 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 ta. So ta, 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 right? Just ta, 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 ta. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's do that. It's slow. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, seven. And then you can play, play an eight as well if you want. Like one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. And then you go to this one, it restarts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay? So one chord has four, another one has eight, one chord has four, another one has eight. Okay? So now that, that's the verse. Now for the pre chorus, we're going to go into this. So for that, we're going to be using something called hybrid chords, and maybe there's an easier way to play it, but I couldn't figure it out for you. I, th I thought this was the easiest way, actually. But so the way that we're going to do it, for the first chord, you're going to place your middle finger, your pinky finger on the fifth fret of the fourth, um, middle finger on the fourth fret. Actually, let's start from the sixth. Maybe it's going to make more sense. Put your ring finger on the sixth, on the sixth string, fifth fret. Pinky finger on the fifth fret of the fourth middle finger on the third fret of the, on the fourth fret of the third string, and index finger on the third fret of the second. That's it. This is called a G over A. So you're gonna play this, and then what you're going to do, check this out. 
you're going to move this one fret, another fret, bring the index down a string into the seventh fret of the fifth, and bring the index into the fifth fret of the sixth. See the transition right there? These two, the pinky and the middle, don't don't take them out, just transition it like that. Like keep them there, only swap these ones. And that's it. Side, so you go. And then you do the same thing, but on the third fret. Like you this whole thing that we did, you bring it down two frets right here. And then you finally end on a D minor. The, the D minor is going to be middle finger on the second fret, ring finger on the third fret, and index finger on the first fret. And then you finished on this one that we just did. And there you have it. That's super easy. Seems complicated, but no. Restart. Now, for you to play along with the song, you're gonna have to put the, the capo here, and that's it on the second fret, okay? And then you're gonna obviously transpose it. Don't play it here. If you put the capo there, everything is going to move a little bit. It's going to move two frets, okay? And that's it. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. It's a really, really cool song. Maybe it might take you a little bit to play it, though I totally believe in you because this, this one is very easy, trust me. So yeah, give it a try. Make sure you click on the link in the description so you can get the tab and follow along with the video and, and you're going to be able to go back to it and, and see what I'm doing. It's going to be much easier. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have so many lessons being uploaded every day and uh, there are many, many incredible teachers. So yeah, click the subscribe button. Also, I would love to know what's your favorite song by Justin Timberlake. He's got many incredible songs. So leave a comment down below with your answer. Thank you so much for watching.